Have you ever wondered why non-African countries can easily obtain raw materials from Africa, transform them into finished packaged consumer products and sell them in major stores worldwide? In contrast, why do African-made products struggle to find buyers and shelf space in international mainstream retail stores? From navigating trade regulations to building strong partnerships, this educational documentary will explore why African products struggle to find international buyers, uncover these barriers, and find solutions. Join us as we dive into the world of global success and discover the potential of exporting from Africa to the USA. Are you an African entrepreneur struggling to expand your export business into the US market? Or perhaps you have an export-ready product but need help finding willing buyers and reliable partners. Hi there, my name is Gubenga Omotayo. Over the last six years, I've been helping entrepreneurs and businesses launch and expand to global markets by leveraging digital tools and matchmaking events without the need to chase buyers. Today, this documentary, which took me over four years to assemble, will unveil a proven seven-step framework that equips you with the tools, knowledge, and guidance to start and grow a profitable export business without the hassle of chasing buyers. Be sure to like and share this video, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do so now so you won't miss other great videos coming out in the future. The United States has the largest consumer market in the world. African businesses across many sectors, including food and beverage, textiles and apparel, and more, have opportunities to export to the United States. But before we dive into the framework, let's understand why the export business is a golden opportunity for Afridia Sporans. With Africa's abundant resources and the increasing demand for organic, and ethically sourced products, the time to tap into the export market is now. The disruption of traditional supply routes and the rise in health conscious consumers have opened up new opportunities for African entrepreneurs. What does all this mean for you? Earning more money in foreign exchange and improving your financial independence is a big opportunity. Africa's fast-moving consumer and agricultural sectors are opening up to the world, attracting high patronage for their natural and organic products. This is your chance to capitalize on the global shift towards healthy ethical products. Now that we understand the opportunity, let's explore the seven-step framework that will guide you to success in the export and import market. In the vast landscape of international trade, one destination stands out among the rest is the United States. With its diverse consumer base and thriving economy, it's no wonder that businesses worldwide are eager to tap into this lucrative market. However, success in exporting to the US requires more than just ambition. It demands a deep understanding of the products and preferences of American consumers. The first step to a successful export journey is knowing your products and understanding the needs and preferences of American consumers, which is crucial for success. In other words, your export-ready products should be unique, high quality, and appealing to buyers in the US market. You must ask yourself, key questions about your products. Is there a demand for it? Can you supply US buyers with commercial volumes on reliable timelines? Will it meet consumer expectations and all required standards? And perhaps most importantly, will it be profitable after adding all costs? Fortunately, tools are available to help answer these questions and guide your export journey. Number one is the ITC's procurement map which allows users to easily identify potential buyers for export-ready products based on the target country and economic sector. Number two, the export potential. 
map identifies product markets and suppliers with unrealized export potential, providing opportunities for export diversification. VAR 3 is the Global Trade Help Desk, which simplifies market research by providing detailed information about imports, market dynamics, tariffs, regulatory requirements, and potential buyers in one place. These three tools, when deployed, will help you understand the needs and preferences of consumers globally. Many African products attempting to access international markets have not been adapted to the target market. While step one will empower you to understand consumer preferences, step two will further assist you in customizing your products to meet those preferences. This includes translating packaging materials by a native speaker and adapting them to local tastes and labeling requirements. For example, transparent packaging, sizes conforming to common standards, and clear descriptions that are easily understood are highly valued by American consumers. Packaging and labeling issues are the most dominant compliance problems faced by African products entering the US leading to some of these products being destroyed or rejected. You see, it's not just about what's inside the package, how it's presented matters just as much. When exporting to the US, avoiding overly technical products or requiring multiple certifications is crucial. These can create unnecessary hurdles and delays in the export process. It's also essential to ensure that packaging meets FDA standards, featuring FDA facility numbers, clear nutritional labels, English text, and weights in pounds and ounces. By understanding consumer preferences in adhering to packaging and labeling standards and navigating regulatory challenges, exporters can position themselves for success in the competitive US market. The United States offers immense economic opportunities for businesses around the globe. However, entering and navigating these markets requires a proper understanding of the regulatory requirements to avoid loss of resources. One of the exporters' first hurdles is ensuring they have the necessary export documentation. This includes a commercial invoice, dock receipt, bill of lading, certificate of origin, warehouse receipt, inspection certificate, export license, and packing list. Additionally, exporters must engage with commercial banks to facilitate export transactions. Registering. Export orders with a commercial bank is essential to issuing an export permit, which includes a letter of credit, advance payment, cash against documents, and a consignment note. Compliance with U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA. Regulations and guidelines is paramount to ensure that products meet the necessary safety and quality standards for entry into the U.S. market. As an exporter, you are responsible for knowing the right commodity classification for your export items. The Bureau of Industry and Security BIS, handles classifications and licenses. The good news is that you do not need to do most of these tasks. A simple hack to navigate these complex requirements of having robust logistics and compliance with regulations is by hiring registered customs agents. By enlisting the services of export and clearing agents in both the country of origin and the destination country, they will be able to help you manage and fulfill the majority of regulatory requirements and ensure smooth transportation and delivery of your products. Detailed information about regulations and compliance requirements can be found on the Food and Drug Administration FDA website, providing valuable insights for exporters. Step 5. Marketing and Sales Utilizing marketing tools and sales channels to reach a wider audience. Think about how you will promote and market your exports in the target country. Your website and social media presence, crucial for promotional efforts, should reflect local consumer tastes and language. Your sales and marketing channel should include the following. 
One, your social media pages with details and testimonials. Two, product website, because people's first instinct is to check your website or product page. Three, leverage your network of friends and family overseas to help with referrals, sales, and distribution. Four, attend B2B events such as the US Africa Business Week to target independent store owners, retailers, and distributors. Five, explore online e-commerce marketplaces like Amazon, Walmart, Costco, Etsy, Shopify, eBay, Source in Africa, where you can sign up as a seller. I highly recommend the Source in Africa marketplace, as it offers a comprehensive end-to-end -end solution that includes sales, marketing, warehousing, fulfillment, and much more. Remember, in order to be successful in your sales and marketing efforts, it is essential to be prepared with your product samples, letter of introduction, product sell sheet, and retailer pitch deck. Step six, leverage a proven system that can automate the entire process, sales, logistics, warehouse, sales, fulfillment, and remittance. Because you are not domicile in the target country and still need to support product fulfillment, customer service, and more, it serves you better to leverage a proven system to help you automate the steps place, packaging, partner, promotion, people, especially the people in the process such as the actual sales, logistics, warehouse, sales, fulfillment, and remittance without leaving your home country. Step seven, join a community of buyers and sellers to support your efforts. I encourage you to find a thriving community of export and import trade professionals to support your drive to access the needed support. The good news is that I know of one you can join for free for mentorship, coaching, and much more. This platform will help you fulfill not just step seven, but also step six. To join this platform, visit tradeuseafricahub.com for more tips and insights on international trade and business growth. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our upcoming videos.